and we've arrived. There goes Mama on the toasties. Give us a wave, Mama. No wave from Mama. We've arrived. We're at uh, the Big Cock, Cockle Creek. We are at literally 200 meters that way is Australia's most southern road. Um, you can't go any further. It's the, what do they call it? The end of the world. Literally the end of the road, basically. So a couple more campsites that way, probably five or six. So I guess you could say we're in the sixth most southern campsite in Australia. Not the greatest site ever, but a couple little tent campers over the, over the bushes here. Um, but it's busy, like it's super busy. Um, busiest place we've probably been, so. But it's free, we're inside the National Park here. If you go a couple hundred meters that way, uh, you actually go over Cockle Creek itself, and then it becomes, well, not National Park, I guess. But it's a beautiful spot. We are maybe 20 meters from the water's edge. So we go this way, walk through, Couple of little tent sites. So here's a little walkway. Down through here. What do you think about that, eh? Pretty damn good. Uh, I just know this wind to drop off a bit, which I think it's gonna, don't know about cloud cover. I think it's gonna sort of hang around for a few days now. So might be a bit of a test on our solar. We'll just go easy on any electronics and sort of charge out of the car. Uh, apologies on that wind if it's sitting the mic. Um, hair's going crazy, but I'm looking forward to this place. This is somewhere that's been on our list for a long, long time. And we're finally here. And it looks delicious, even on a half crappy day. So, can't wait to get stuck into the big cock and uh, see what the old cockle creek's got to offer. Maybe throw a line in later and just uh, waste a bit more time. So, cheerio. today singlet out jumper on these guys are all jackets and trackies I'm um, shorts and thongs where are we going guys where are we first where are we Eva uh, tree tunnel tree tunnel something that starts with owl. Owl. Oh, not even close cockle creek darling 
What's your thoughts on it? Absolutely amazing. Beautiful. Mum's Chicken. talking. Three. Chicken. Chicken. Three. Three. So we've got three chicken and absolutely amazing. You can get everything at three, mate. Three chicken and absolutely amazing. That's what I've got to put up with with this family. They don't give me serious answers. Ten. Ten for Trina. Out of ten. 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 Out of ten. 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 Oh! <laughs> Perfect score from the judges. Where are we going? We're just going to see some whale statue thing. Weather's actually not too bad. Bit, uh, <laughs> a bit windy. Hey mate, how are you? Uh, got great the oh really? Oh, yeah. oh shit. <laughs> we weren't looking for them, but I, we didn't see anything. No. Nothing sort of stuck out. Oh, good luck. Uh oh, how's he gonna open his car? Oh. <laughs> Poor bloke's just lost his car keys. Um, we probably could help him look for them. But no, we are on our way to see this see this whale before uh, before the weather turns again. It's pretty blowy, pretty windy, but the water's looking delicious. Is this it here? Is this it already? I think we're here. Like a two second war. Um, but yeah, it's still damn fine looking place. I can't talk properly. Why am I still talking even? Because you can repair. <laughs> now the dreams are scattered. So just reading that sign, uh, during the 1820s, 18, was it 1820s? 1830s. 1839, there was a thousand whales killed in this bay here. Uh, I can't pronounce it, so I won't, uh, I'll try and say it. What is it in? Richer Bay. Richer, Richerche Bay. Um, but because they were going so heavy on the whaling, uh, the industry collapsed pretty quickly as well. So they used to have six men in a boat that spot a whale from shore, they'd row out with their harpoon. And if they didn't get a whale and didn't kill the whale and didn't bring it back, they didn't get paid. So pretty harsh lifestyle and pretty sad, but uh, luckily it was kind of learnt from that. Um, and those creatures are all protected now. So it is a well, according to Will, it's a dolphin, but yeah, it's just a, a statue to sort of commemorate that time. This place, though, this place is delicious. Absolutely delicious. Good boy. What's happening here? Careful. dream fisherman that's oh what these two are calling me God. and you wonder why maybe well look at this
local creek delivering the goods, eh? A few big oysters there. Well, not massive, but they're, they're good size. You can't have them too big, I reckon. Get a bit too meaty, but... Uh, and yeah, probably a third of a bucket of cockles out of Cockle Creek. The big cock is coming through with the goods, so... Um, I could have got... There was so many oysters. I could have got heaps more, but I didn't have my knife, so... We'll feast on them tonight. I reckon the cockles will put in a little bit of a chili... Uh, chili broth or something like that. Um, when we used to go to Asia, we used to have pippies, which I assume are the same thing. Uh, a beautiful beer snack, especially when the weather's warm, which it's not at the moment. What do you reckon? 18-ish, but the wind's died off. Yeah, it's the rain sort of held off. This morning. It was freezing. Yeah, it was freezing. It was freezing this morning. Bit of schoolwork going on over here. Well, I've just been providing for the family, basically, so... Oh, <laughs> uh, Trina's carrying on, but she knows it's true. Anyway, I'll, uh, we're going to go have a bit of a swim soon in the ocean just out here, and uh, probably a bit of a fish after that. My fishing so far has been a little bit unsuccessful, but uh, I reckon today's the day. A few big flatties. You're not going to catch anything, I don't reckon. Look at these two. Negative Nancy's over here. Whereas Positive Pete. I think the only thing you'll catch is a seagull. There's plenty of those out there. Dad catched one before. Yeah, in Western Australia, didn't he? Uh -huh. yeah. When Will wasn't even born. Talk the talk now, but wait till they stuff their face later with some oh, huge whatever. flatty tails. I saw the seagull out there with those fish before. It's as well as much as you'll catch. Yeah, they won't be talking later. They'll be their mouths will be full yeah. at Big Cockle Creek. Busy people seem to think it's a great idea to go for a swim. Absolutely freezing and cold today. Well, that we just learnt about today. Rules are rules, eh? If it's safe to swim and you're allowed to swim, what do we do? We swim, but it's your rule. Oh well, you jumped on board, so let's go. Can't stop. Gotta... Go, 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 go. Ocean. Where are and, and you know where, what the rules are. <laughs> Dunk under. <laughs> Chicken. I'll oh, stop saying that word. <laughs> Good work, face. Give us a kiss. <laughs> it's dinner time. And we got some oysters on the go. Mama's cleaned them out. She shucked them already. Eva's hanging around like a seagull ready to eat them. I'm cooking off some bacon here. Now this is the broth that we're going with for the cockles. We've got some chili flakes, a little bit of paprika, a little bit of salt, some minced garlic, and the most expensive crushed, uh, crushed tomatoes known to man after we bought them at Southport, which is about 20 minutes around from here. A few more fat boys just there waiting to be. Look at that. That's that's a large oyster. That's a meaty little fella there. So yeah, just gonna cook up a uh, cook up some bacon for the oysters, and then I'm gonna cook up the broth to chuck the cockles in. I didn't actually tell you how I caught it before. I just you basically you get in. I don't know a meter from the water's edge in the creek, and you rake your hands through no, you rake your hands through um, the sand and like there's hundreds of them they're just like you get handfuls of them and they're not they're not all that size that we got uh, I'll show you in a sec um, a lot a lot of smaller ones so maybe every three three times through you'll get one one pippy but I got a third of this bucket in maybe 10 minutes so and I could have kept going there's, there's, as I said there was hundreds upon hundreds of them but um, I didn't want to go crazy to be honest actually I'll leave these over here I'm doing all kinds of things here so camera angles and camera movements might be all over the shop mum's still over there cooking and cleaning I'm cooking seagulls squawking no I know 
is all of them. That one. That's a little fella. Alrighty, so bacon's fried off uh, for the oysters. And I've used the bacon fat to start this little base here. Deliberately made it quite runny. Um, so yeah, maybe three quarters of the can of the tomato, crushed tomatoes. Um, I don't know, maybe a big tablespoon of uh, garlic, a fair chunk of chili in there, and some paprika, and a little bit of salt. I reckon when the cockles are nearly ready to go in, because we're not going to actually eat this as such. When the cockles open up, I'll just get a little bit in there, just to help flavour the bad boys. So, I reckon she's nearly ready to go. Chuck some cockles in, see how we go. So with the shellfish, I've had them sitting in salt water, clean salt water for most of the day. Well, half a day since I caught them. And then I've given them a good old scrub um, on our muck mat down here, the green green mat. And chucked them in some fresh water just to, and just try and get them as much, rid as much of that grit as possible. Um, and then use your hands to scoop them out of the water so you're not just tipping them in with any grit that's sort of falling at the bottom of the bucket. Same when we eat them, um, I'll sort of scoop them out of the sauce and onto their own separate plate. So any grit that's still in them, um, I, I'm not transferring with, a, with with what falls out. So I don't know, I'll try my best to clean them as best I can um, and hopefully it tastes all right. Alright, look at these bad boys. Now there's not much of them, or well, there's a there's a fair bit in the shell, but you don't get much meat on the bone, but uh Taste test. No, you're going first, you're the guinea pig, you caught them. Well you hold this. Dad tell me if they're so spicy. They're not. Seagulls hanging around trying to get some over there. Is it spicy? Is it spicy mama? Oh, yeah, they're good. Are they spicy? I love ginger salad. There's a little bit of spice to them. I guess it just depends on which one you get. Oh, got a little okay. visitor. He wants some cockles as well, don't you, bud? Hey. Can you get water? <laughs> These guys are. Um, don't eat any more. Don't eat any more. <laughs> are you listening? Can you get water? She so wants she water, they're too spicy, but she keeps coming back for more. What do you reckon your first cockle? Good, bit spicy. Spicy's good though. Got a few to get through. Takes me back to like Southeast Asia. Singapore, Kuala Lumpur, Thailand, oh, all those, Vietnam, Laos, all those places. Maybe not Laos, I don't know where Laos is. Not really no, coastal. I think they did. Um, seagull is getting in now, mate. I need water after this one. They're pretty spicy. <laughs> She's checking herself out in the front camera. She says her lips are on fire. Finger licking good. What do you reckon, Mama? Delicious. A little bit spicy for me, which I don't usually say, but delicious. Used or finished. Almost finished. And then second course is the oysters, which Seagull is hanging out for big time. Better go fire them up, eh? Fire up! Oyster! 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 Seagull. And what's she seagulling for? Feels like deja vu. We've just done the same thing as we did at uh, Black River Campground a couple of weeks ago on the North Shore. Just cooking off in the barbecue for five minutes. A little bit of bacon and then we're chucking some barbecue sauce on top. So, what do you reckon, seagull? I'm not a seagull. Why are you sitting so close to the barbecue over there? <coughs> I don't know. Nah, so this is our kind of, our little version on um, Kilpatrick, I guess. Just want to cook them off because 
I've cooked them myself and to be honest, I still aren't confident with it. But I mean, I don't know, others are doing it. We turned out okay after the last one. Um, and we don't have any Worcestershire sauce, if that's how you say it. What is the saying? The three hardest things to say in life are, I was wrong, I need help, and Worcestershire, 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 Worcestershire sauce. Anyway, I'm gonna put that lid back on. Let him cook away. Squawk, 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 squawk. Careful, it's not hot. Look at this big fat guy. <laughs> You're not listening, dude. What? The five minutes. Good. Just good. Very good. Just very good. The best ever. Thoughts? Delicious. 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 Look at the mess you're making bees. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Good little feed there. Actually had a fish in between eating them and dinner. Uh, just trying to be a triple threat. Oysters, cockles, a bit of fish, but uh, didn't come through. So as you can see behind there, sunset is looking pretty damn good. I didn't think we'd get much today at all. So camera, pretty basic setup. I don't really have a focal point as such um, to shoot. One thing that I've, I've kind of morphed into since I've done my wedding photography is really liking one central focal point around the big wider open landscapes. As you can see, this place is amazing without wind. I wish we saw it fully during the day without wind as well, but uh, can't win them all. So yeah, we might get, a, might get a little bit of reflection up there. See back that way, over those mountains as well. That's probably, probably the north. It's looking damn fine. Send me a little footage of this paddy melon. This one in here, you kind of get to know them because they, they hang out in the same spots. But this guy here, he's a bit of a tree climber. Don't know whether he'll hang around or whether he'll see it. They might all be tree climbers. Sorry, mate. Hey, there you go. Oh, don't even know the, the wide angle of the GoPro would have got that, but. He's reaching high, where all the good stuff is. Anyway, go okay, see what we can do here. Thin piece of paper